Hey, Kate, what's up today? Today we have Garfield the Cat Day. Garfield the Cat Day. Pound some lasagna, right? Right. Garfield launched on this day in 1978. You're a Garfield fan? Um, I was back in the day. Did you watch the cartoon at all? I think I did. In the late 80s or whenever that was? Yeah, I think yeah. I did. I didn't watch the movie with Bill Murray as Garfield, though. No, nah, me neither. Yeah. Didn't care. But if it were on TV, <laughs> if I just happened to see uh, Garfield there, the old one, the cartoon, I'd probably watch it and then be like, huh, that was worse than I expected or worse than I remembered. Or maybe it <laughs> blow my mind. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we're celebrating Garfield today, so maybe hit up YouTube and check out some Garfield cartoon clips. There you go. let us know what's up with it. Yeah. Today is also Martini Day, Matt. Martini. Okay. You into martinis at all? I'm not. Oh, you say that I as know. if you're disappointed in yourself. Well, I'm just not that fun. I don't like gin. <laughs> I'm not that fun. Yeah? Yeah. You can get a vodka martini. Yeah, you could. Yeah. So? So. No? But still no? No. Nah. Oh. Okay. I think they're okay. Either one's fine. But it's yeah. not the first thing I'm thinking. You know, if I get a drink menu in front of me. Martini, right. I'm going to have to be like, you know what? Let's really mix it up now. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. I think the last time I had one was actually, uh, I stayed at the Drury Inn. And at least at that point in time, I haven't been there in a long time. They had their like happy hour-ish kind of thing where you can get a few drinks and some finger food kind of stuff. You know, chicken ah. fingers or sometimes they would have chili or whatever. And so that was the last time I had a martini was in a little plastic cup. <laughs> Quite classy. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. And today is also Juneteenth, Matt. Juneteenth. Yes. Tell us about Juneteenth, Kate. Juneteenth commemorates the end of slavery in the United States. And so the celebration takes place each year, June 19th, recognizing an event that took place in Texas, 1865. And you might have some federal buildings closed today, like mail and oh, okay. the government buildings. There's no mail I believe today. are closed today. Right. Okay. Hmm, good. Good. All right, Kate. Feel like a slug? You may have the wrong exercise mindset. Okay. So your brain and your exercise. To check it out. Many of us worry that we don't get enough exercise, but the mere belief that we aren't moving enough can have negative consequences for our health, according to emerging science about how our mindset affects our bodies. So they did this study. 162 adults who had never counted steps before wore tracking watches for four weeks. One group was given a watch that wildly inflated step counts. Instead of averaging 7,000 steps, they had walked 9,800. Another less fortunate group wore a watch that deflated step counts, lowering them by about 40% to around 4,000 a day. And then, yeah, it turns out the ones with the watch that gave them too much credit for walking mm -hmm. ended up with better health outcomes, more or less, or better oh. work workout results. Pretty wild. Yeah. I don't think this necessarily means that they should start selling pedometers or that you should have a feature on your Apple Watch or whatever that, like, could you just go ahead and lie to me? Right. In fact, if you know it's lying to you, because in this case, these people didn't know that it was lying right. to them. They didn't know that their step counter or whatever was going to fool them. But there you go. Got to have the right exercise mindset. I could see that. Like, you're, you're working hard, like, counting your steps. Like, really? Especially since you know... It was like 10,000 steps a day. Isn't that the baseline they want you to hit? Something like that. I I thought it's like 8,500. Okay. And 10,000, like you might as well go for 10,000. Like it's, yeah, okay. So if you think that 8,000 even is the number and then you're like, oh man, I had a good day stepping around. Then you see it only gave you credit for 4,000. I could see that being pretty disheartening. Yeah, so absolutely. Forget it. And then just, I'm just going to sit on the couch and eat a gallon of ice cream. I like that plan. Okay. <laughs> Matt, do you know what a yellow hammer cookie is? A yellow hammer cookie. Yeah. Hmm. A cookie that's shaped like a, you know, you know what? A yellow hammer? I don't. I don't know <laughs> what a yellow hammer cookie is. I don't either. But it's the official <laughs> state cookie of Alabama. And I found a really funny quiz called Weird State Items. Oh, it's a weird state items quiz. Yes. Okay. Okay. These are all multiple choice. Oh, wow. Get okay. ready. All right. Arkansas's state beverage is 
prune juice, milk, or moonshine? Let's go prune juice. I was going to say moonshine, but it's actually milk. Milk. Yeah. Okay. Arkansas have lots of cows? Uh, Maybe. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, I wonder, are they cow country? I don't know. I don't know anything. So, okay. Oh, for Delaware. One. State dessert for Delaware. Is it pumpkin pie, peach pie, or carrot cake? Pumpkin pie, peach pie, or carrot cake? Uh, carrot cake. That's what I would have said. Oh. It was peach pie. But we would have both been wrong. We would have both been wrong. Yeah. 0 for 2. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, you're Illinois right. state snack food. Beef jerky, popcorn, or trail mix? I'll go with trail mix on this one. Popcorn. Popcorn. It's a good choice. Right? Hmm. I think uh, Colorado is probably trail mix. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard to... Bunch of hippies. You know, hiking with some popcorn. <laughs> Just a bowl of popcorn and you're hiking or something. Right. Yeah. Oh for three. Oh for three. It's okay. Tennessee's wild animal. <laughs> okay. I think it's funny that it's like as a state, we must have a state wild animal. Uh raccoon, deer, or skunk. Raccoon, deer, or skunk. I'm gonna go with skunk just because that'd be funny if that's true. That would be funny. And but it's raccoon. Raccoon. Okay. <laughs> You ever encountered a skunk before? I saw a skunk walking down the sidewalk the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. It Horrifying. looked like a Disney cartoon because there was a skunk walking down the sidewalk, and there's like, two birds following behind okay. it. Like, they were all, like, in a conversation. Was there a Pepe Le Pew thing happening with a little cloud of uh, no? bark coming out? No. Oh, okay. No, they just looked like they were, like, on their way somewhere. Yeah, I'm getting ready to burst into song. Right? Yeah, Maybe. Okay, so what? Am I over for 4? Over for 4, last one. Okay. Texas's state dish. Texas state dish. Okay. Roadkill stew. Hmm. Porterhouse steak or chili? Ooh, that's tough. I'll go with chili. Yeah, you will, oh. cuz that's right. Whoa! Ooh. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah, redemption. 1 for 5. 20%. Good job. Sure, yeah, thanks. Hey, Kate, Google search can now help detect skin conditions. How? Use the Google Lens. You ever used Google Lens before in the Google app on your phone? I don't think I have. Oh, okay. It's also really good for identifying. Like, I went around my yard and identified some different, <laughs> some suspect plants. Okay. That indeed, it did confirm. Yeah, those are invasive plants. Those are going to take over your whole yard. Enjoy that. But now, apparently, they've added skin conditions to the deal. So, you can put on your deal like, oh, no, you got you got the herp or something like that. Eeks. Yeah. It doesn't specifically reference herpes in this, but. Okay. Yeah. And Google search can now show how clothes look on AI models. Interesting. You know, eventually they're going to have frames, right? You just put a big frame, um, like a, what's that called? Like a full-size floor-to-ceiling kind of frame, and then you can stand in front of that, Kate, and then maybe boop, 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 and then it superimposes some kind of outfit on you. Are you looking forward to that future? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, especially, do you think the mirrors are rigged at stores to make you look hotter? Mm. I don't know if it's the mirrors or, like, the lighting sometimes. Yeah, the lighting helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because then you get at home, you're like, this is stupid. Why did I buy this? <laughs> right. There's a whole Seinfeld episode based on that premise, in fact. Right? Yeah. I have a feeling I know the answer to this question, Matt, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Okay. Do you bring home ketchup packets? <laughs> no, but... And it's been a while since I've got fast food where ketchup packets are just thrown in there with it. Yeah. So I have kept those around before so they don't go to waste. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm not one to smuggle ketchup packets. You? Um, Not smuggle so much, but like, oh, yeah, we're going to need some extra ketchup and they'll send us with packets. But you're hmm. going to want to keep your ketchup packets because Heinz is having a contest. A ketchup packet contest from Heinz? Yes. Okay. Yes. Ketchup packets that have states on them. 
Okay. Oh, so it's like you're you're trying to collect them all. Right. Okay. So on the packet, it'll say what state it is, and it'll depict a food that that state is known for. Okay. okay. So the idea is to collect as many states as you can, then upload photos <laughs> at SauceMerica.com. SauceMerica. Okay. But you don't want it. It's, this contest is going on through August, but you don't want to wait until August to upload all your pictures because you can only do about three a day. Oh. So the more entries you get, the more Sheesh. chances you are eligible for prizes. And some of the prizes range from $3 to $500. I was going to say, here's a hat for logging in every day and right? taking photos of your ketchup packets like a lunatic. And they do have grand prizes ranges from $500 to $100,000. Okay. Well, now we're talking. Yeah. It's lots of ketchup you could buy for 100000 bucks. Do you think you could fill a swimming pool full of $100,000 worth of ketchup packets, or would you require more or less? I think mm. you'd need more. Yeah. Okay. But at the very least, the first 600,000 participants, just for uploading any packets, will get a dollar off coupon for any Heinz condiment. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So that covers your ketchup, mustard, mayo, ranch, barbecue, tartar sauce. Yeah. That's, they make lots of condiments. Yeah, and you don't have to go to every state to fill up your collection because they are sprinkling them throughout. Oh, I sure hope so. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to visit all 50 states to improve your odds of winning? It's no. Just, you can no. go, like right now, yeah, if you were, went and they're like, uh, Montana, why is this, that's the wrong state. I'm not in Montana like that. Right. But instead right. it's like all states, they're just mixed together and then you collect your Montana your Kansas, your Missouri, your California, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you take photos of your ketchup packets. I just couldn't imagine. Are you going to do this? Um, I, I have yet to see any of the ketchup packets with states on them, though. Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. You know? First off, where else can you get ketchup packets that is not a restaurant or a restaurant supply store? I'm so glad you asked. Okay. Movie theaters, stadiums, to-go restaurants. Right. Yeah. But... I guess my point is, how many catch? How often are they replenishing their ketchup packets? Like, did they get their current supply of ketchup packets six months ago, and they're still working through them before they're going to get to the next batch that has states in it? I don't know. I just don't know mm -hmm. the turnover of ketchup packets. It seems like yeah. something I should know. Hmm. What's wrong with me? Man, get it together. I have to work on that. Hey, Kate. Summer begins on Wednesday officially. Officially. Hooray. Are you going to celebrate? I mean, I think I've been celebrating. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> when do you believe summer begins? Are you a Memorial Day weekend? I am. I used to think as soon as school got out. But our kids go to school until Memorial Day now. So, Memorial Day. Yeah, is that weird? When did they go to school till before? Before we moved, they would get out right before Mother's Day. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Just different Catholic schools, both of them. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Yep. It's because it's the summer solstice, you know? Yeah. And you know what that means? The sun is out the longest. Yeah. When one of Earth's yeah. poles has its maximum tilt toward the sun. So if you're in the northern hemisphere, which hooray, that's where we are at. Ooh. Summer just began. Southern Hemisphere, opposite. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Matt, are you lucky? Hmm. <laughs> lucky in life, Kate. Lucky in life. You? Um, I think I definitely have gone through some lucky stages. Yeah, you're not going to find me like at a slot machine, though, is if that's what you're asking. No. But if you are listening right now and you win the lottery because of what I'm about to tell you, I think you should give me a cut. Okay. And just by listening. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> and just by listening, you agree. But no, right, that's right. not how it works. Kate's not going to no. take your money. So what's going on? Okay. So there are three things you can do to make yourself luckier. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Act like you're lucky. Oh, yeah. Visualization. That's right? tip number one. Yeah. Okay. And that's a good idea. Lucky is something that optimists prepare better and put themselves in better situations than pessimists. So someone who believes they're 
lucky might get hired for a great job because their luck makes them more confident in the interview. And it might also influence the little ping pong balls that fly around in the deal that pick the winner. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'll go with it. Okay. Shake up your routine. Shake up your routine. It's another way to make yourself luckier. Okay. When you step outside of your comfort zone, your senses will be sharper and more random things will happen. So that gives you more chances to have unexpected luck come your way. Okay. I'll go with it. Okay. And then the third tip on making yourself luckier, have a short memory. Have a short memory. If something unlucky happens, the best you can do is forget it immediately. <laughs> forget that you weren't lucky. So this right. is basically how to fool yourself into thinking you're lucky, not necessarily how to be lucky. That's what I'm Well, what... act like you're lucky. Yeah. Okay. Scientists say the best way to have lucky things start happening again is to keep making smart bets. All right. So go buy some lottery tickets. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. And then you can sing Britney Spears and then... It'll be great. Do I? I don't follow the reference, sadly. She's so lucky. Oh, right. She's a star. Right, right. Amazon Prime Day incoming, Kate. Uh, do, 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 do. When is that? So we don't know yet, but last year it was July 12th and 13th. So like it's, it, it's, it's common. Okay. Are you, in on, are you in on Amazon Prime Day? I like it, yeah. And do you go to the other websites also since, you know, like Target and Best Buy, et cetera? Walmart have their own kind of like they'll compete a little bit. Do you check those other sites as well on Amazon Prime Day? Or mm, you just dive no. into the Prime deals. Okay. I just check. I just scan through the Prime deals. And usually if there's something that we're um, thinking of purchasing anyways, like, oh, yeah, Prime Day is coming up. Let's wait and see what Prime prices are going to be. Gotcha. So. Yeah. This headline, how to prep for Amazon Prime Day. Oh, <laughs> I love it as if you're prepping for Black Friday, you know? Right. Like, oh, you're going to want to have, put your diaper on. That way you can run the aisles as fast as you can and just go in, go in your pants or whatever. So it says it's best to go into Amazon Prime Day as prepared as possible. Okay. Meaning knowing exactly what you want to look for. So you can stay focused, avoid distractions, and probably also avoid buying a bunch of nonsense that you don't need. Right, right. Which, what's the point? That's not the spirit of Prime Day. Right. <laughs> Prime Day is all about buying things you don't need. I don't know about this article. This is Engadget with the advice on this. Nice try, Engadget. Nice try. I'm going to do it. Matt, just for the pun of it. Just for the pun of it, Kate's going to give us the setup to a joke, and then you and I, dear listener, will guess the punchline. Just for the pun of it, why did the duck go to the chiropractor? Why did the duck... Okay... Because it needed to be quacked? Something like to that? Get to get its back? Back quacked. quacked. Okay. Yes. Hooray. 